What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the Spider-Man McFarlane Toys Marvel Comics 110 scale gold label exclusive. This is a different one. This is inspired by the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 38. The other one that came out was inspired by the McFarlane Spider-Man one. So you can see this is the one that came out before. I did a review on these ones here. But Mar this is the one tenth one again. Now you gotta know McFarlane's doing the statues, doing one sixth scale and one tenth. The thing I don't know is I got this at Target, obviously. I don't know if these are exclusive to Target, these gold labels, or how they're doing the gold label for these. But they, there is two per set, and that is the bo per, per box, because it's you got one Deadpool, two Spider-Mans, and two gold label Spider-Mans. So not sure how they're doing that. This is based right here off of the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 38. It's an oldie right here. Pretty cool. I love the, the comics that they use in the back, the strips and everything. And then right there in the back, Look at that, that is awesome. I love the packaging on these. Let's go ahead and open this up guys and let's see if this is gonna be a pickup or a pass. All right guys, let's take a look at the insert right here. So this one here has a city backdrop. And I, again, I love these inserts, look at that. So you have uh, the city, the streets, the lights, the buildings. You can kind of make out a little bit of the sky too and then it's got the base right here, the floor. So that is awesome that you get these again. I have to, you probably need some tape or something to keep this shut because you can, it looks good when you display the figure on here. All right, let's go ahead and bring out Spider-Man. So I'm really happy with this one. I think this version here, again, it's a classic look for Spider-Man. You got the webbing right there under the arm, the big spider, the, the lighter colors. You got the red and then the light blue. You have this big old spider logo there. And then you have Spider-Man, you, you know, kind of with the arm going across the face. You can't really make it out a whole lot. The eyes are sculpted. Check that out. I think this looks cool. The base right there, the amazing Spider-Man. It looks like it's a, t yeah, it is a top, a rooftop there. So there he is right here. And then there's the bottom. There's the back of the base. And then similar to the previous one, he does come with a rod that keeps him in place. And you got his lower feet. The webbing there and then it is sculpted like you can feel like the texture throughout the suit i like this one a lot i like the again i really like the pose that he's in too and one thing about this one that the other one i did, didn't do is i can take this one off the 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 uh, little metal peg there check that out so you can actually take them off this looks really really good again love the colors on him one thing I forgot to show here is the card that comes with this. And there's the back. It's got the bio for this issue. Again, if you put this, if you want to display this with the, the little insert there, if you get some tape to hold this up in place, it will it will look really good. I think I think this this backdrop makes it look a lot better. And right here we have a side by side comparison with the McFarlane Spider Man and the Gold Label Spider Man. So you can see they obviously are different poses, different bases. One just says Spider Man, the other one says Amazing Spider Man, and then the other one's a rooftop. And again, different costumes too, just completely different costumes. And the sculpting on this is different as well. But which one is your favorite out of the out of the two? I mean, both of them are kind of like hiding. You know, this one's hiding his face. This one's posed downward. So you got to like put this one in a higher display, like a higher shelf so you can see to get the full look on him. But I, I absolutely love these. And again, I cannot wait for the 1-6 scale versions of these. And there you go, guys. There is my review on the McFarlane Toys Marvel Comics Spider-Man Gold Label, The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 38. I love this. I think this is so so awesome. I'm really digging these statues. Again, this one here depends on how you really want to pose them. If you post them straight on, you're not going to get like the full look of him. If you post them like at an angle, you can kind of get more of the um, the full view of Spider-Man. But again, just a fantastic piece. I love where they're going with this line. Next up from this wave is going to be uh, Iron Man and Wolverine from the Jim Lee X-Men issue number one. And then who knows what else they're going to be bringing down the line on the 110 scale statues. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, if this is a pickup, is it a pass? Which version of the McFarlane Marvel Universe Spider-Man statues do you like? This one or the Spider-Man, the McFarlane one? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this is a pickup or a pass, we'll see you soon, guys. Later.